said that the earth is layered. Earth is not one single rock. It is not a monolith. It is layered. There are various layers. Some of them we know uh, there are various ways of layering and various geographers have given their interpretation. The initial interpretation was given by Edward Swiss, which said Seal, Seema and Knife. Uh, but that interpretation has not been accepted and it has been rejected. This interpretation pe puri theory ban gai thi. That was a continental drift theory. That has also been rejected now. One of the interpretation of the interior of the earth was Seal, Seema and knife. The other interpretation, the modern interpretations which have been accepted, one is on the basis of mechanical properties, the other is on the basis of the chemical properties. On the basis of chemical properties, we have crust, mantle and core. And on the basis of the mechanical properties, uh, we have lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere and bellsphere. Okay. So this is a two ways of layering of the interior of the earth. We also understood some of the properties, the properties of crust, the properties of mantle, the properties of asthenosphere, and also your arrangement of the inner core and the outer core. And how is uh, this inner core and outer core arrangement, wherein the inner core is solid in nature and the outer core is a fluid and is surrounding your inner core. So inner core, which is solid in nature, uh, which is shown by red here, or surrounded by your outer core, which is fluid. Both the inner core and outer core, uh, they have nickel plus iron. Even the outer core has nickel plus iron. Plus, they have uh, silicates, uh, which are impurities. And because of this, the melting point is reduced. As the melting point, point is reduced, this becomes a li liquid in nature. Now, as they are rich in iron and nickel, now because of this inner core and outer core arrangement, where the inner core is solid, whereas the outer core is fluid and is continuously uh, revolved, is, there is a continuous movement around this inner core of the outer core. The outer core is continuously moving. What happens is because of this movement, there is alignment of electrons. Because there is alignment of electron, you have an effect called as electromagnetic effect. And it is like a, a self-induced dynamo. It is like a, a self-induced uh, dynamo. You can uh, see this here. What happens is because of the alignment of the electron, there is your electromagnetic or field that is being produced. The electromagnetic field that is being produced, uh, therefore, your earth acts like a this is what it is. They are fluid convectional uh, currents, uh, fluid uh, convectional currents. And because of this, uh, these are the uh, magnetic uh, fields that are being generated. The magnetic fields that are being generated. And this magnetic field, this can be uh, seen on the this. This can be seen throughout your Earth's surface and the atmosphere. Throughout the Earth's surface and through the atmosphere, we can see the Earth behaving like a magnet, a dipole magnet, which has a magnetic north pole and the magnetic south pole. In reality, you can see the lines going like this. Okay, the, the lines actually should go from north pole to south pole. So this should be the north pole and that should be the south pole magnetic. This should be the magnetic north pole and this should be the magnetic south pole. However, because north pole is up and south pole is up and geographically, therefore, for magnetism, we also say that this is a north magnetic pole and this is a south magnetic pole. But lines are going like this. Now, because of this magnetism that the earth has, because of this magnetism that the earth has, we can see this. So these are responsible for your auroras, responsible for the auroras. So for here, you can see uh, this is Earth. There is a magnetosphere. Uh, there are solar uh, radiations that come over. And when there is interaction between this uh, solar flare, solar radiation, and your magnetosphere of the Earth, when there is interaction between these two, we can see uh, lights in the form of auroras, the aurora borealis and the aurora Australis. They are fairly visible along your uh, poles. And the North Pole, they are called as Aurora Borealis. Australia is in Southern Hemisphere. So this is Aurora Australis. So Aurora Borealis and Aurora. Uh, yes. Why is magnetic field going from South to North? It is not going from South to North. It is going from North to South only. This should have been the magnetic uh, North Pole. This should have been magnetic North Pole. But geographically, a South Pole is so this is 
yours earth which is behaving like a, a magnet and there are magneto earth sphere right okay there have been some shifting even for that matter agar ab geomagnetism dekhe to pole bhi reverse hua hai intensity bhi kam hui hai and a bahut sare other fluctuation hue magnetosphere hai magnetic magnetic field hai but the magnetic field is not a constant that's what it is uh, this geomagnetism the strength fluctuates the strength that is fluctuating uh, the the position also shifts the position of the magnetic north pole and the south pole shifts as well as there has been pole reversals that north pole becoming acting like a south pole and the south pole acting like a north pole there have been reversals there have been fluctuation in the strength there have been fluctuation in the direction also so jab for example if you take into consideration this is your this is your let's say a magnetic north pole a magnetic south pole conventionally a uh, magnetic north pole okay ab kya hoga so let's say this is of 10 intensity the 10 becomes 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and there will come a stage where there is no magnetism in the earth then this again so this was plus 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 this becomes minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus means ki south pole ki tarah se north pole ki tarah act karne lage so there have been fluctuation in the strength there will come a stage where there is no magnetism and there will come a stage where there is the opposite polarity is being witnessed at present where do we have magnetic north pole the exact original magnetic north pole that is there in the south but conventionally what are we saying this is a magnetic south pole conventionally matlab lines are going from this to this the lines are going from this to this at present there can come a stage where there is no magnetism zero magnetism and then can also be a stage where the line can a uh, shift in their direction at a place where there is no magnetism this a uh, phase has been linked to destruction on the life on earth why because the direct solar radiation can affect the life on earth so there can be intense heating and the life on the earth can also be affected when there is no magnetism therefore your magnetosphere also protects us from the harmful solar radiation right and the interaction can be seen in the form of the lights that are visible in the pole this was a brief initiation of the top uh, or, or brief summation of the topic about the interior of the earth so interior of the earth crust kaisa hai mantle kaisa hai uh, what about the inner core what about the outer core? what is the effect the effect is magnetism